Hey, it's your girl Kiki here. And today, we're gonna talk about how to find hotel accommodations in Lagos, Nigeria. Well, you would think you would just go to the internet like everybody else, get the accommodations, and then just go there, right? Wrong. Because most of the hotels in Lagos won't look like they look on the internet and most of them aren't even on the internet. So what you really need to do, first thing, try to find a hotel on the internet, okay? Look on Google, of course, and just type in hotels in Lagos, Nigeria. So it's gonna give you a list of hotels, not only in Lagos, but in like every little city around there. So you gotta figure out where you wanna stay, for instance. Okay, you wanna stay in Acacia. So you're gonna look for hotels in Acacia. You find that hotel. So for instance, we're gonna take the Sugarland. So you find Sugarland Hotel. Then what you do, you have someone who lives in Nigeria. I know you may not have someone there, but hopefully you do, or have a friend or somebody. Because this is the important part. You have to have that person go to the hotel to see what the hotel really looks like. You have to have that person go to the hotel to check it out to make sure the hotel is what they say it is. Because a lot of times, the pictures will be fake, the hotel will be fake, the whole setup will be fake. So you really need someone to go there, check it out, confirm the prices so you won't get any surprises, okay? And even with that being said, you better still prepare yourself for surprises with hotels in Nigeria because you have to remember they don't work by the same standards, operate by the same standards we do. So if you go there expecting a five-star hotel to be like our five-star hotels in the United States, you're going to be disappointed. So my advice is to go there with little to no expectations. Seriously. Go with little to no expectations that you won't be disappointed. Because the hotels, the accommodations, man, let's say that's an area that needs to be developed. Let's say that, okay? <laughs> so after you do that, you get the person to go check out the hotel and you like it. You get the price now. That's what you gotta agree on. Because sometimes the prices on the internet won't be the prices that they charge. So you gotta agree upon a price. Once you agree upon a price, try to get that in writing, you know, just so you won't have any mix-ups. But agree upon the price, and then when you get there, if you need someone to uh, write a letter for you to get your visa, you can get that from the hotel also. Once you confirm your stay there, you know, you can ask them to write you a letter to help you get your visa. So, let's see, what else? You got to find the hotel online. Get somebody who lives there. Hopefully you got somebody who lives there who can go look at the hotel and check it out for you. Make sure it's on the up and up. Third, agree on a price. And four, enjoy your stay. But four, enjoy your stay. I'm serious, you guys. You can't have all these expectations. You can't expect the lights to work 24 hours because they're not. You can't expect to have hot water 24-7 because you won't. So, can't expect to have Wi-Fi 24-7 because you won't. You won't. So, if you go in with an open mind and realize this is a developing country, you know, and they're not quite where we are yet with the accommodations, then you'll be fine. But the biggest, oh, and I forgot, safety. Make sure this place is safe. Make sure they have free Wi-Fi make sure it's safe make sure it has a guard make sure it has a gate make sure security is number one there because kidnapping in nigeria cersei lagos that has become a family business now so just make sure safety is key so you want to ask a lot of questions and you want to look around a lot to make sure it's safe make sure there's gates make sure there's gate people not just a gate man gate people make sure let's see what else to make sure of. yeah make sure they lock the gate at night at a certain time make sure they don't have strangers coming in and out 
you know just ask those type of questions and if worse comes to worse and you get there and you see you don't like it please the very first day you see you don't like it when you see a sign that you don't like it the best thing to do is to leave because it's not going to get worse and then by that time you started spending your money on the room so the best thing to do is just leave you know after the first day they're not holding up their end of the bargain they're going to try to talk you into staying because they want that money but no just leave and go to another hotel and start over okay well youtube is also a great place to look for hotels Okay, that's a wonderful place. I meant to add that. A wonderful place because you have vloggers who go around to these hotels and they do videos. So it's a good idea to look on YouTube for videos so you can get an actual view of the hotel. So that's about it. Okay, the next video we're going to talk about. Okay, I got my ticket. I have my hotel room now what do I do okay all right good people I'm gonna finish my walk in the park and I will see you later